Hello there guys and welcome to the channel and to this that will be my first ever review on my own channel and what other better way to do it than with uh, Gran Turismo Sport that just came out last week on Tuesday so let's get on with it as you might expect from the series the presentation is superb and elegant and classy think of it as a social media within the game where you can easily find your friends and see your scores against each other. Gran Turismo Sports campaign is uh, divided on three branches where you can earn different uh, rankings uh, or medals obviously uh, bronze, silver and gold depending on your time and you can easily see your friends uh, timings against each other in this uh, very same screen. Now onto the campaign which is also the offline aspect of the game it's actually rather good. I recommend try out these uh, parts of the game first in order to uh, hone your skills for the multiplayer later on. You will be able to learn all the basics within the game and the driving is uh, kinda annoying sometimes because the cars feel like they are like ice skating. So uh, all other games from the series uh, suffer from this but you might expect this also on this one. You may also want to go to the driving school inside the campaign, which is a major part of it, where you can hone your skills and uh, prepare yourself to the multiplayer. You will eventually get better at it by trial uh, and error. So also you can earn credits and milliage and stuff to power up your cars and buy stuff for your uh, avatar. The card list is limited on this occasion which is uh, only 162 cars but the way it's presented to you is real nice and uh, more intuitive and effective. You can also see different parts of the brands even uh, there's uh, historical videos of each brand which is a nice detail to all those uh, car enthusiasts out there. Now onto the main part of the game which is the multiplayer you will be able to match up with uh, different uh, people from many countries preferably from your same um, you know continent you can warm up a bit in qualifying laps just before the race starts this is mainly because you will want to position you better on the starting grid and you know get to get used to the track better before time and no matter where you add just before the race starts you will be prompted like uh, you can see here to the starting grid and uh, with your starting position also For me the overall experience of the online aspect of the game has been quite good. Actually the servers are stable aside from some issues where you can uh, check uh, the updates on the uh, fixing the issues on the main screen of the menu. Uh, there are prompted like notifications and the way the game works online is uh, it ranks you uh, depending on your behavior on the race and on your speed so that determines your uh, ranking and eventually you will um, get match with uh, people well behave and uh, not you know using dirty tactics and stuff like that now onto the rally side of things this is not the strongest point of the game Obviously, this is have been yeah, an issue all uh, through the series, but the races are fun and uh, mostly online. But uh, like in here, you can earn drift points, uh, and the races are obviously kind of harder for some people. But they're actually like like fun, uh, where it gets crowdy, you know. Sometimes it's not very intuitive, like you can see here but you can manage to have fun with it. One thing is important to state is that this is a multiplayer based game 
something like you might uh, see on Overwatch or other uh, multiplayer focused games although this is a racing one but the overall experience for me has been quite good and actually I've enjoyed myself uh, real much taking in consideration all the flaws and benefits of the game I am um, gonna give it a score of 8 out of 10 which is my very first score and uh, review also and I hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, just in case you guys uh, are considering to buy it just uh, take in mind that you will need PlayStation Plus to enjoy all the full multiplayer experiences you'll also gonna need uh, online connection at all times in case you will wanna even save your progress even a layer or a paint job or whatever so hope you guys enjoy it and see you guys on the next one